It should go without saying that Major League Baseball is the number one baseball league in the world. The best talent in the world typically comprises the league, and has done so for 150 years and counting. But obviously, it'd be very close-minded to think that great baseball talent doesn't exist outside of the 30 MLB teams and their minor league teams. All around the world, there are places that produce good players, and we want to highlight some of those players today. Of course, there are great international talents you know from MLB because they're becoming more and more common. 28.5% of players on opening day rosters in 2019 were born outside of the US, but that goes to show that baseball studs come from everywhere, not just Major League rosters. So let's get started. We put extra research into the pronunciation for this one, but our bad if we mess up anyone's name. Alright, so you know that speech from like 10 seconds ago about great international baseball talent? Well, we're starting this list off with an American. The one and only American on this list today, Kumar Rocker. Kumar Rocker is far and away the number one college baseball prospect right now, and is good enough for you to know his name. As a freshman, he no-hit Duke at the NCAA Regionals with 19 strikeouts. He's gotten better and better and better as his time as Vanderbilt has passed, and he's the clear favorite for the number one pick in the 2021 MLB Draft. With him being so highly regarded, he'd be hyped as a potential savior to whatever MLB franchise gets to draft him. Almost like a sports superhero. Like the one Ben Stiller show bit. He's serving up justice. But yeah, Kumar Rocker is disgusting, his stuff is far beyond his years, and if you don't believe me, a search of his videos from Pitching Ninja might convince you. In terms of foreign professional baseball, Japan is the top dog. Japan's league, the NPB, is considered in between Major League Baseball and AAA Baseball. This is why we're going to highlight two players from this league. Yuki Yanagida is a six-time champion in Japan, but his individual accomplishments might be even better. At the time of this script being made, Yanagida's batting average is 352 through 216 at-bats in the 2020 NPB season. Cool. It's the third time he's hit 350 or better since 2015. He hit 352 in 2018 and won an MVP award in Japan by hitting 363 in 2015. He's also a great base stealer, a three-time gold glover, rocked an OBP of 400 every year since 2014, and has broken the 1000 OPS threshold three times. And here he is hitting a walk-off bomb against Kirby Yates in the 2018 Japan series. Kirby Yates made the all MLB first team in 2019. Kudai Senga is a really, really good baseball pitcher. His fastball reaches 100, his forkball is absolutely filthy, and here he is making Major League All-Stars look bad in the World Baseball Classic. In terms of his stats, his career ERA is 2.56 across 9 seasons in Japan. Jacob deGrom's career ERA is 2.59 across 7 seasons for context. He averages 10 strikeouts per 9 innings and only 6.5 hits per 9 as well. And at 27 years old, is definitely a candidate for someone you could see in Major League Baseball in the not too distant future. If you're not convinced, look at that right there. Wow. Yafet Amador has absolutely destroyed the Mexican League over the last few years. At 6 foot 4, 310 pounds, this man is a force when he steps into the batter's box. Only one position player has ever been in the major leagues weighing in at over 300 pounds. But that doesn't mean Amador can't crush baseballs for a living. In 2019, he hit 346 with 28 homers, 115 RBI, a 427 on base percentage, and a 605 slugging percentage. He also walked almost as much as he struck out, which for a hitter of his profile may seem like an impressive surprise. The Mexican League is AAA level competition, mind you. He's also played in Japan and in the Astros minor leagues, and his numbers did noticeably dip there, but wait till you hear about his 2015 season in Mexico. 325 average, 55 homers, 165 RBI. Manny Ramirez territory right there. In 13 seasons playing in foreign leagues, he's a career 300 hitter with 347 home runs. Keep on trucking, man. This is Frederick Cepeda hitting a home run in the World Baseball Classic in 2006. No, like, seriously, look, he's in the lineup for the 2006 World Baseball Classic Final. Cepeda in left field, he's hit safely in every game of the tournament. Well, he's still awesome down in Cuba today. 
At the age of 39, he put up the following numbers in the Cuban National Series, their baseball league. In 2019, he posted a 349 average, 537 OBP, 18 homers, 59 RBI, 94 walks to only 31 strikeouts. He's also older than the current Padres and Mets managers. Through 22 seasons in the CNS, he's a 329 lifetime hitter with a 479 on base percentage. This guy has gotten on base almost half of the time for longer than Roddy Rich has been alive. Even in just the last three years, his lowest batting average in a year was 312. If you want to try and disregard the competition down there, an MLB scout once called this one TikToker named Luis Robert the best player on the planet when he was just 19 years old in this very league. Can confirm, Luis Robert is good at baseball. Even if it's super obvious he's just trying to be like EDP. Full disclosure, Cepeda's brief stints outside of Cuba have not gone well for him, but his longevity and ridiculous numbers in Cuba cannot go unnoticed. Here's a clip of Frederick Cepeda hitting a double off Masahiro Tanaka one time. The guy scoring on this double is actually the next player we're going to highlight. Jose Fernandez, not the Marlins pitcher who was taken from us way, way too soon. The player we're going to talk about is also known as Jose Miguel Fernandez. Fernandez is actually the only player on this list with MLB experience. He played in 36 games with the Angels in 2018, but now plays for the Doosan Bears in the KBO. And since leaving MLB, has just shredded every last pitcher South Korean baseball has to offer. In 2019, he finished first in the KBO in hits and second in batting average, with 197 and 344 respectively. He also walked more than he struck out, got on base more than 40% of the time, and led his team to a league championship. Pretty good year. He's played even better in 2020. He's currently raised his average to 366, OBP to 428, and OPS to 973. For reference, that 973 OPS would have been 5th in Major League Baseball in 2018, behind only Mike Trout, Mookie Betts, J.D. Martinez, and Christian Yelich. The KBO may not be as highly rated, but he's appeared to be the best overall talent in the league since he's arrived there. Last but not least, we're moving over to Europe for the final player of this video. This is Stein Vandermeer, and he's from the Netherlands. If you were unaware, the Netherlands is actually really good at producing baseball talent. In the last World Baseball Classic, they had players like these on their roster, and also Stein Vandermeer. If only Puerto Rico didn't knock them out in the semifinals. <sighs> Vandermeer is an excellent contact hitter, and has been his entire pro career. In college baseball, in the Astros farm system, and in the Netherlands, this guy can put the bat on the ball. Over his last 618 at-bats in the Netherlands, he has struck out 20 times. Mike Trout currently has double that through 131 at-bats in 2020 alone. Juan Soto has 16 in 99 at-bats so far this year too at the time of scripting. Since 2017, he's been a 326 hitter with three separate years where his OBP was 450 or higher. Oh yeah, he also walks way more than he strikes out if you didn't assume that already. His power numbers are practically non-existent, he has three professional home runs ever, but he's been a high average, high on base, and extremely low strikeout guy ever since college, and he is most definitely a good baseball player. That about wraps up this video. If you enjoyed, you're more than welcome to like, comment, or subscribe. You know, the things every content creator on Earth would really be appreciative of. Thank you so much for watching. We hope to see you soon and have a nice day. Thanks, guys. I'm by myself, SOS, and the text left on red. I see red, I see blood, I see blue. Go your shoes, I see blue. Go your shoes, I see blue. Go your shoes. My love, my dear, my heart is here on my sleeve. Why must she leave you like a bird in the sea? Beautiful.